Hey guys, welcome to the Canadian Shooters channel. Today I want to uh, discuss with you guys storage options for your restricted firearms. Now, um, there's obviously the cases that uh, the firearms come with. Um, in my opinion, these uh, cases, they're, they're not, um, I guess, sufficient enough. Uh, they only have this one for the Smith & Weston. It came, uh, this is the Smith & Weston M&P 9. This is the case uh, that that gun came in. And it only has one locking, uh, one lock for a padlock right here. And uh, in my opinion, that's just not sufficient enough because this is just uh, plastic. So basically, it not being able to open from this corner doesn't mean that it won't open from, you know, the opposite corner. You could bend the plastic. It's, you know, it's not very uh, solid. Uh, it's not very stiff plastic. So, you know, it is pliable. You are able to bend it and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't like to keep my, uh, my firearms in their original cases. Like, for example, this one here, the Norinco, it came in this little case and there's no, you know, uh, holes to, uh, to put a padlock on it at all. So, um, you know, so basically when I first got my gun, I decided to get a better case. And um, the first case I went for was um, this. It's actually, since it was designed to be a gun case, I assumed that... Um, you know, it'd be sufficient enough because it's got the, you know, two uh, areas for, uh, for padlocks. So I thought that would be sufficient enough, but, um, it's still a plastic case like the other ones. And even though it is, uh, you know, locked on both sides, let's see if we could access the, the firearm inside. So you'd pop these open and yeah, it's locked on each side, but check this out. It's plastic. Look how easily, you know, you could very easily pop this out and you have total access to, to the firearm inside. Now, yes, it has a trigger lock on the inside, but with a little bit of play, a little bit of just pulling it up, you could get this firearm out extremely easily. And there you have it, right? So, is that secure enough in your opinion? Because in mine, it's not secure enough at all. Um, yeah, you have the trigger lock on the firearm, but nonetheless, if somebody steals this box, they could get their hands on the, on the handgun extremely easily. Now, since this wasn't su sufficient enough, this is actually called a gun guard, which, you know, specifically designed for uh, to hold restricted firearms. Um, since that didn't really work out for me, I decided to upgrade. Um, now, I didn't want to spend an extreme amount of money. I, I you know, how, um, you know, uh, Pelican cases, they could run, uh, you know, big money for this size or, you know, upgrading to a larger size that can hold maybe two or three pistols. It can run some big money. And, um, you know, I didn't want to spend that much money to, to secure my firearms, but I still wanted them to be secure safely enough, uh, you know, that I'm confident enough that it's not going to be, they're not going to be easily accessible. So, um... I found this, which is basically, this is an aluminum case. Um, it's got, you know, um, locks on it. It's got locks on both sides, but it's aluminum. So it's very sturdy. So even if you wanted with like a screwdriver or something to you know, try to pry this open, it wouldn't be that easy. It's aluminum. It's um, solidly built. It's got the, the locks on the front of it, you know, which are, are solid enough themselves. And it also holds you know, more than one pistol. So you could pick one of these up for um, around $30 at, you know, your local Canadian Tire. And I think this doubles as, you know, a very good uh, g gun case. So let's open it up and, uh, and take a look. So like I said, you actually, it has locks on the both sides. So you need a key to be able to open it up. So yeah, you need a key to open them up. So let's open it up and this is it on the inside. Now, the good thing about this is you can have a, two or three guns in here minimum. Um, when you buy it, you have, it basically comes with uh, a full piece of foam here. And then um, you would just basically rip out the, the squares 
of uh, foam that you you know want out so you could uh, you, you know basically build the shape of your firearm or any other accessory like I have my magazines uh, I have a little pocket for magazines here and then this is done out for um, you know pistols so I have the two pistols in here and then I got space for the holster and the, the, the loader so you could customize this in any way you choose to do um, you know, I only have two pistols at the moment, so you know, I just basically made it so the two can fit in here. But you could uh, just as easily have another one here, um, and still probably have room somewhere in between for your magazines. And also, you could hang your magazines <clears throat> up in this area. It has you know a few a few places for for your you know cleaning rods, um, maybe even you know patches. I usually. I usually keep my, uh, you know, gun lube in here too for when I go to the range. So basically everything you could have in one um, solid area, you know, one uh, solid case will, will be sufficient enough to, um, to hold basically two or three of your pistols and the accessories. And, um, you know, I believe this is solid and safe enough um, having this case locked with the, with the handguns and the, and the trigger locks on them. And having them in a locked, uh, you know, room, closet, storage area, um, I don't know, wherever you choose to, to uh, store your guns in your home, um, that is sufficient enough. And, uh, you know, it's it's basically a little above and beyond the, 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 the law, the, the expectation. So, guys, that's how I store my guns. Um, not only are they in a locked case with trigger locks, but they're also, you know, behind a locked door. So um, that's triple, you know, I guess, triple protection if, if you want to look at it that way. Um, but I'm curious how you guys store your firearms. Um, you know, let me know if you guys have any uh, better ideas than uh, or seen any, you know, better cases than, than what I have. You know, let me know. Um, I store, obviously, I store my restricted firearms in a locked case with trigger locks. Um, I also choose, even though it's behind you know, a locked door, I also choose to have trigger locks on my non-restricted uh, firearms. Um, that's just personal preference. It's just how I do it. Um, you know what I mean? At that point, you don't really have to if it's, if it's you know, uh, in a locked, uh, locked room or something. You don't really have to have trigger locks on them. But I choose to do it just, you know, so it doesn't, uh, I don't have any troubles down the road. Also, if you guys are interested, um, you know, you guys can check us out at, uh, on Facebook at Canadian Shooterist and also at Twitter at Can Shooterist. Um, you know, we're on there to join the conversation and uh, share your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next time.